Hello again, John Terzak here. I'm going to answer the question of how to make an asparagus in puff pastry appetizer kind of dish, which is going to be made from a piece of puff pastry that we baked off, and that formula and method of doing that, of course, is in the how to make a patty shell video. We're going to use some gorgonzola cream, which is one of your supplementary sauces that are in this course, some tomato concasse, some mushrooms, and some fresh asparagus. Now I peeled these four, and now I'm going to quickly show you how I peeled those asparagus, even though there's a couple of other lessons in this course that are dedicated to you learning how to peel asparagus. Now I got some medium asparagus here. My favorite, of course, is jumbo, because it has that texture that I always love. But you can use pencil asparagus and not peel it if you want to make it that way with this dish, okay? Now we're going to do this whole assembly in real time here. I'm going to start by putting the piece of pastry into a 350 oven and heat it up real quick. And I'm going to trim the asparagus. I'm going to cut all the woody parts off of this. And before I even drop that asparagus in the boiling salted water that I have here, I'm going to saute these mushrooms first real quick. And I'm going to put a splash of olive oil in a hot pan I have back there. And I have a couple of mushrooms here. Sliced up. It's not taking long for these to cook because I got a nice hot pan. Now I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of the tomato concasse into that. While well, that's getting hot, and it's just about there. Mushrooms are sauteed already. I'm going to add about a uh, half to three quarters of a cup of gorgonzola cream. This is all hot now already, that quickly, okay? I'm going to shut this off and just let it stay warm back there. We're going to drop the asparagus in the boiling water. And we're going to assemble that on this plate. Now you'll notice I had the pastry sitting on a plate. I did that because I want to size the plate with the piece of pastry so I know I have the right size plate. Now I want you to keep in mind that this is boiling and hot and ready to go, this stuff here. I want you to keep in mind that you can make this a larger piece of pastry or a smaller piece of pastry, but I'm referring to the larger versions right now when I tell you that you can put shrimp and scallops and chicken or duck confit or anything else you want to add to this and turn this into an entree. I'm doing an appetizer version of this particular concoction. Um, but uh, it, you can make it into an entree, that's my point. So the pastry is hot. Let's get it out of there. And let's cut the pastry in half this way. Let's put the bottom of the pastry on the plate. Believe it or not, this asparagus is cooked enough for me right now. I'm going to give it like 15 more seconds. Then we're going to get it on the plate. I'm going to put some of this sauce over and around it on this plate. Now, this is a fast item to make because I've had these other components ready, but, okay, this asparagus is done. So let's take the asparagus. Now, if I was making this in advance, I'd shock this in ice water now, the asparagus, to so put it away, then bring it out and just heat it up when I was ready. So let's set the asparagus onto the pastry like that. Let's spoon this mushroom. some of that sauce on the plate and let's put that piece of pastry up there like that and let's sprinkle a little bit of gorgonzola crumbles around it because that is the basis for the flavor of the sauce let's put a little bit of chopped parsley around here and finally let's throw a little shot of olive oil on there just for fun 
Now that looked pretty simple, but I had the concasse made, I had the gorgonzola cream made, and I had the puff pastry baked. But you'll notice that if you had all these things done, you could put this together rather quickly uh, when it's time for dinner. So we did this in five minutes or less, and that heated up everything and cooked the asparagus. There you go. Asparagus and puff pastry with concasse mushrooms and gorgonzola cream that can be converted into a main dish just like that. Enjoy this. This is a really nice item.